What's going on guys? And welcome back to another horror game. This is Amanda the Adventurer 2. Now, we played the demo version of this a while back, but this is the full version, which officially came out not that long ago. So we're gonna play it and see what happens. All right, this game uses an autosave feature. Do not quit her. Oh. You're Riley, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Kate and I were really close. She talked about you so much. She... She was really proud of you. Okay. I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. Come on. We should get out of here. Lore. A place you can rest a while and... And let's talk. We're getting some lore. We're getting some lore. Let's go. Oh, what the hell? Hey, hope you got a little sleep. You know, I was thinking, we should head over to the library. You can tell me what happened on the way. Okay. God, that's terrifying. I really hope we find some answers in Kate's office. Kate's office. Oh, so is that where the aunt worked? She worked at the library. Come on, let's move. Okay. We're getting some story. Okay. Let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. All right. Some interesting stuff. What's that squiggle surrounding the picture? I kind of don't like that. This game uses an autosave feature. Okay. Listen. Oh. There's something out there. It's drawn to the tapes, and it's very, very dangerous. Please be careful. Okay. I know this is going to sound super paranoid, but after everything that's happened, we need to be careful. We yeah. can connect on an encrypted channel with these. You go see what you can find in Kate's office. I'll keep watch outside. I'll call you on the two-way if anything comes up. Why don't you go in there? I'm just a child. At least I think I'm a child. There's that sound from before. Okay, so now we're at the library. All right, so this is... Oh, you can jiggle with the doorknobs now. You couldn't do that in the demo. This is just like in the demo. Ooh, I could use some water. Oh, yeah, delicious water. I love drinking out of the water fountains. They are so refreshing, especially the ones at school. And the ones at the gym that I go to. All right, so let's see what was here before. Oh, here's a book. JP. Oh, there's Wendy Worm. We remember her from the demo, right? That's awesome. What's this? Hey, Margaret, found an odd tape in the, in the book returns. Okay, I'm not even going to read that, so pause the video if you want to read that. So, all right, let's, let's head back. All right, we got the keyboard. We got... Yeah, it's WSAD to walk around. I think it's shift to sprint. And what's control? Crouch. Okay, good to know. All right, so what are we looking for? I think we're looking for some books. Like, yeah, we need the computer. I don't think we can use that just yet. Oh, wait, there's a code. Wait, what was the code? Uh... All right, let me look for some answers. Uh, let's let's look around. We'll take a look around, see if there's anything here. I really need to use the bathroom. So yeah, the kid's name is Riley. Like, that's what I'm getting at. Oh, what's this? Okay. Ah, uh, that's... Okay, I don't know what that's for, but whatever. 
Alright, um, we got some books. There's a dummies book right there. Is it gaming for dummies? I don't know. Alright, let's look around. See what we can find. Uh, there's a book here. Wait, three. Okay, that's the last digit, three. We gotta remember that. Oh, what the hell? I don't think we were able to turn that on before. All right, the three. Is there something here, maybe? DS. JPDS. Okay, we can use the keyboard for whatever reason. All right, anything else here we could use? What about this one? This one doesn't have a number. All right, so three is the fourth one. We know that three is the fourth one. We need three more. Three more numbers and we'll be all set to go. Okay, you can piss right off. I don't know what that means. Wait, don't we... Can't we scan these? Oh yeah, we can scan them. I don't know if those mean anything, but... Oh, we got books from 1994 to 2019, I'm guessing that is. Five? All right, let's, let's continue to look around. Let me just make sure the last digit is three. All right, JP. JP, all right. We don't know what that means yet. Oh, crap, where's the other book? Oh, yeah, I remember this from the, from the, uh, the demo. <laughs> all right. Let me see if I can find anything here. I'm trying to remember. Without looking at the demo, I'm trying to remember. All right, there's a book here. Let me see if I can grab that. One. Okay, so CE. One. I think it's three, five, one. That's a number. Okay. Three, five, and one. I think. We know the final digit is three. So let me uh let me just go back for a minute. Alright, let's see if we can we can look for some more stuff. Hey, there's Wooly. Wait, there's a VHS here. W and N. Okay, is there how can we open this? Yeah, there's like a tape with a Wooly plush. I wonder how we can wait, can we open this? No, it doesn't look like we can open that. Alright, I really don't see any point in these book racks if we're not going to use them. Okay. Alright, ETGX. I'm guessing that's the alphabet of the books. That's how they go. Yeah, we know three is the final digit. There's nothing here. Zero. Zero. All right, so zero. We got the we got the three num four numbers. So it's a matter of what order we put them in. Oh, that's it. There we go. We got it. All right. There's the tape. Let's plan a trip. Oh, I remember this. It took a while, but we figured it out. We figured it out. I am a genius sometimes. All right. Let's throw the tape in. Amanda the Adventurer. With no woolly, I guess. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Uh, well, with we can. Shrek. At least in our imaginations, we can. Hmm. With my magic train! If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Anyone in the world, who would you go see? Hmm. I guess... I don't know. Celebrity? That sounds like fun. I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have... Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. All right. 
right, so we got three dollars, two dollars. But right. wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? I think if you open the curtain, you'll have more light. So I'm gonna go with open the curtain. What was that noise? That's much better. Now let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? The Eiffel Tower? Well, in France, of course. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! She obviously wants to smash it, so let's just, let's just give her what she wants. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Good night, Mr. Piggy! What? Where the hell did she get that mallet? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? All right. One, two. The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? The Isle of Dead Dolls? Okay, I think I picked this area last time, but that wasn't it. That's Big Ben. So, and that's the Pyramids of Giza, I do believe. So I think it's this one. Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, isn't it? This maybe? Looks like someone needs to brush up on their cultural knowledge. You? All right, how about this one? Our next stop is Mexico City. Mexico. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three! Oh no, that's all our coins! And I still have one more place I want to visit! We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins! Which one do you think will get us the most coins? I don't know, the chicken? Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster! Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? Well, why would you want to learn about Jack the Ripper? Um, okay, I guess it's this one. Come on, you know this. Wow, you really don't know anything, do you? You calling me an idiot? I, I, young lady, know a lot, thank you very much. I guess it's Big Ben, but we still don't have enough. We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Why don't you sell more of your... Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have 
four. That's enough for our last stop. Oh, no, no, go away. Get this weirdo out of here. Uh, swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Wow, who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. I guess, but I wish I really could go see the world. Well, that was depressing. Alright, let me see if I could put the VHS maybe here or something. No, no, you can go on the X. Go on the X, not on the floor. You know what, that's good enough. Alright, oh, there's a piggy bank here. That wasn't here before. What's this? Ten. Oh. Do we have to find coins? Is that what it is? Hold on. Maybe that's what this is. We gotta find some coin. Okay, I don't know what the point of this... Wait. There's the cap. Do I gotta open the cap first? No, I don't have to open the cap first, do I? I really don't like that. All right, I don't know what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five. I have. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Five coins. That That's just added more that than to the. For our first stop, we just need to take away two coins. Okay, now we only have three. All right. Uh, is there a way to rewind? Let's sell the you clown. You really think next. I can get coins for that old thing? You have really weird taste in toys. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster. Okay, so I guess you have to sell Mr. Rooster. Someone gave That's this not to fair. me when I. Oh, we got three. All right. Um, three out of the ten. I really don't know what this is for, but whatever. Okay, we have six now. All right. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. All right, so now we only have two. I honestly don't know how this works. Alright. I guess we'll try that again. Wait. Now we're at minus two. How... How are we at... How does five minus two equal minus two? I... I don't get this. Okay, now we're at the negatives. We're at minus five. Like, what? How is this even possible? Why do we have, like, minus five coins? I, I don't understand. I do not understand what I'm supposed to do here. Now, I'm guessing we have to get this up to ten. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Don't really know how I'm gonna do that. I... Uh... Count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. Now it is at plus one or all right, we're at five. We're at five. Um unless okay, where would this go exactly? Wait. If I don't have the pig on here, that shouldn't affect it, right? Oh, it reset it. Ah, damn it. It reset. 
I was hoping it wouldn't. I, I thought I would be smart about it and just like take the pig off when I had five and then put it back on when I had 10. All right, how are we supposed to do this? I, I really don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, so no matter what you do, if you take the tape out, it'll reset. All right, I think that should. Okay, we're at eight now. We're at eight now. All right. All right, we are at eight, but I think that will reset because we're almost at the end of the tape. Got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Unless, okay. right, at least now I know what to do here. All right, let's put the pig back in. All right, now we're at nine. Now we are at nine. We just need one more and then we should be good to go. If I take this off, then maybe... That's enough for our last stop. All right, let me see if that will work. So let's put the pig back over here. Wait, Three, we'll lose coin four. from that. Yeah, we've lost coin for that. All right, we're back down to five. Oh, hey, it's All right, that'll reset. All right. I think now I understand what to do here. Well, Wait, I think I have an idea. Better. I think I have an idea. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. All right. We ended up with six with the sofa. So I think that's what we need. I think that's exactly what we need. We just have to, we just have to let the possum dude steal the coins. All right, before you start crying, let me put this back. All right, add six and then we'll have 10, hopefully. Okay, that only brought it up to three. So, hmm. All right, let's put that away. So we've got six. Okay, that only put it up to three. Hmm, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something else here. You are sadistic. You know that, Amanda? Very sadistic. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. That. All right, that counted. All right, cool. Yeah, that's what I had to do. All right, let's take the pig off. All right, hold on. We just gotta add another maybe three coins after this. All right, hold on. All right, let's pause that. This next coin should bring us up to nine and then we should be good to go. And then we'll take it out one more time so then the possum doesn't steal anything. Let him steal the coin, put the piggy back, and then we should have 10. All right, that brings us up to 12. So now we have 12. But the thing is, all right, how much is the trip to London? Four? Okay, so that'll bring us down to eight. We've got 12. We've got 12, so what do we do here from here? Yeah, that would have brought us down to eight, so I think that was smart. Oh, hey. All right. All right, I think what I did was smart. We're at 12 out of 10. It's time to catch my train. All right, let's finish the tape. See if that worked. If it doesn't, then I don't know what else to do. All right, that reset it. Did that do anything? Don't you dare tell me I did all that for nothing. Don't you dare tell me I did all that for nothing. All right, I, I'm kind of lost. I, what I'll do is I'll do some research on what I'm supposed to do. I'll wrap it up here and call it a day. And then when we come back to this, I'll see what else we need to do. But I'm, I'm not giving up just yet. I'm just gonna take a break for a little bit think things over and then we'll see what happens there okay so we're back it is um currently 9 30 at night so this is like uh six hours later and i i watched a video i did some research and i think i know what to do here so let's put the pig there for now all right let's watch the video yeah so i figured you know what instead of just 
making this a two-parter, I'm just gonna do this all in one. Because last time we ended up with like 12, 12 coins. All right, so that's five. just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? All right, one, two. All right, let's pause that. All right, now we're down to three. So if I remember correctly, once we get to the chicken part or Mr. Rooster part, then we put the piggy back so then we can get an extra four coins and then that'll be seven. And then we got to let the possum steal one of the coins and then we find more, that'll make three. So that should make 10. All right, hopefully that's the case. All right. This is where, this is where we put the piggy back. There we go. Pick the chicken. All right, hopefully this is correct. So we get another four coins from that. That's Whoa, it. I got three coins. Oh, that was only three. All right. Wait, no, hold on. We get an extra coin in our pocket. That'll make four. All right. For Mr. Rooster. We're doing this right. Okay. All right, now we pause it. Okay, you can piss off with the vents, please. All right, we got seven now. Let me just quickly make sure I'm recording and everything's okay. All right, so it's not over yet. All right, so now what we got to do is let the possum steal the coins. That's how we get the three. And we got ten. Not sure what that does, but you know what? Let's finish anyway. There we go. It's time to catch my train. Hopefully that will do something. We're now at 10. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Another tape. Good night. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Oh. Hi, friends. I'm... I'm Amanda. Yeah, it's late. Time to get ready for bed. I can't get ready by myself. Hmm, she seems lonely. Hey, wait. You can help me. Me? Before I can go to bed, I need to put away my toys. My dad told me once that it's always nice to have a fresh start in the morning. Let's see how many toys we have to put away. Can you count them? Okay. Four. Which toy should I put away first? All right, put this one away first. Time for bed, Mr. Frog. All right. One, two, three toys to go. Let's put away another one. We better put him in his home before a hunter shoots his little ears off. Great work. Okay. We're on a roll. Which toy should I put away next? The block. X marks the spot. And last but not least, go. the basketball. Let's do it! Boing, boing, boing! That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. What should I do first? Brush my teeth or wash my face? Uh... Teeth, face, uh, crap, it's making me type, uh, what was it, uh, bath. Is that really how you get ready for bed? Get serious. Hey, uh, uh don't be a jerk, I'm just trying to help, uh, I guess brush? Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should use? Blue. Nice choice. I love blue. Now, will you help me find the toothpaste? Is it in the medicine cabinet, the bathtub, or the toilet? I don't know why it would be in the toilet. Okay. How did you get in here? Who even are you? Go away! A little help here, please! Right. That freak tried to eat my toothpaste. Ugh, that's disgusting.
thing. Yeah, and dangerous. <laughs> okay, time to wash my face. Well, I guess I'm all done in here. Time to put on my PJs and hit the sack. Okay. Which PJs should I wear tonight? Huh. What about something... You know what? Strawberries look good on you. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. It makes me think about what's happening. About things I really don't want to think about. I'm not even sure what's real. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? I guess. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Uh, I'll just say nothing. Wow, that sounds really scary. I bet you're trying not to think about it now, aren't you? Thinking about something you're afraid of can give you nightmares, especially when there's no one around to help you think about nice thoughts. Hmm. I try to be a big girl and sleep with the lights off, but it makes me feel so alone. What do you think? Should I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Please what? hurry back soon. Oh. The hell? Dolly, are you still out there keeping watch? Okay. Good night. <gasps> What the hell is this? Oh god, this show is cursed. Uh... The hell was that all about? Uh... Okay... Oh! This... This was there before, now it's here. What's this all about? Oh, is this like a combination thing? But hang on. This has something to do with the tic-tac-toe, so let me just... Uh... Alright. I think I kind of understand where the tic-tac-toe is. Okay, so I think... That one's an X, this one's an X. Alright, cool. Just checking in. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Try to find those tapes, okay? Okay. Obviously, we made progress here because the walkie-talkie and everything. All right. I think we should see what kind of puzzles we've got here. Try to figure those out, too. Oh, wait. That's the same as that. Okay, let me, uh, let me see what we got. So... The flower and the moon and the flower and the sun. All right. All right. I think I think I got that one. All right. We did it. We got another tape from that. All right. Cool. Let's practice patience. All right. Is there anything else here? Maybe we could figure this out, maybe? Please hurry back soon. Oh, God. The light's off. Uh... Okay, so there's the night light. I think that's the night light right there. Um, let's bring that back to you. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night, Riley. Riley, how, how do you know my name? Uh. Oh God. Uh. Okay. All right. Um. There's another tape. Which one? Let's let's practice patience, okay? No, go in the VCR. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amanda. Isn't it nice to be a And I'm Wooly. Wooly. You're back. Oh god. Hi, I am No. I don't want you here. Don't you get that? 
But Amanda, I'm your best friend. My best friend? All you do is get up. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Yep, it is, Wooly. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Wooly. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm gonna bump into something. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. What's something you have built that took a lot of patience? Um... Why would you waste your time chair? doing that? What? I didn't even say anything. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? I don't know. Uh, Robin? I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? Okay, a saw. Right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood. <laughs> Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Oh, that was hard work. Okay, now we There's have to that put possum the pieces again. together with nails. What tool should we use for that? Hammer? That's right! We'll use the nail gun to attach the pieces! <laughs> this project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! Patience, yep. That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. I love blue. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Duh, a paintbrush. Good job. This is going to be so pretty. <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far. Get him to go away. All right, go away, you stupid possum. Swiper, no swiping. I'm getting really sick of that guy. Come on, let's paint this birdhouse. Who is this possum? Wow, that looks great. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. You're right, Wooly. They are peaceful. Oh, God. Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting the birds. She is being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should we warn them? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after all. Uh, warn? See how she stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god. Oh no. What a good mama cat. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that wasn't there before. Okay. Okay, you're covering your ears, you're covering your mouth, and you're covering your eyes. What are these monkeys doing here? Um, okay, uh... So dark outside. Alright, and I think we turn on the light. Oh, that changes it. Oh, oh my eyes! Are you trying oh. to blind me? Okay, you just uncovered an eye, all right? Oh, hold on. Okay, that's them covering their mouths. All right, cool. So we can... There we go. That's him done. And now we just need them to cover their ears. All right. Oh, wait, this is where we go in full black. Oh, the peaceful part. Okay. And then we go to this guy. Oh God, do we get out of here? All right, that took a little bit to figure out that puzzle, but we did it. Oh, Jesus. There's a VHS here, all right. What's this now? Hi. Hello? I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we are playing bandits. Come on, where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Willie, you're a pretty boring bandit. Bandits hide all kinds of things in the woods. It's fun to go look for treasure. But you should probably tell someone where you'll- Never tell anyone where you're going. They might get to the treasure before you do. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. Which, which direction should we go to find the treasure? Tree? Uh, okay, um... Uh, let's... Woods? That's not a direction, silly. Come on, or other bandits might beat us to the treasure. North? I think you're right. Let's go. So I guess we're heading north, I guess. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Where should we dig for the treasure? Uh, where the X is, obviously. Yes, that marking matches the one on the map. Let's dig. What? Great, here we go again! Seriously, who is that guy? <laughs> A little help here! Alright. That guy's gonna give me a heart attack. Hmm, maybe I should get him to come back. What? Let's dig. Okay, bandits, let's get to digging. Amanda, All right. I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. I guess you'll have to use your hands. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel so bad for Wooly. Poor Wooly. We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. <sighs> Come on, Wooly. Let's get out of here. He's stuck in the hole, though. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? Oh. So is that what happened to Wooly? The hell? Actually, you know what? what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special and you didn't help me at all. What? So you better find something good for me. Oh God. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, good lord. Uh, the chicken? The chicken! Uh, Mr. Rooster! We've got Mr. Rooster for you. Hello, recording. Uh... Oh God! Okay. All right, I think that was um, that was Amanda the Adventurer Chapter Two. Damn, that got terrifying towards the end. But yeah, that's gonna have to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.